I was on the internet and I looked up petroglyphs close to me and there's supposed to be some really neat ones back down one of these old side canyons kind of hard to get to anyway I got out my uh, onyx maps kind of plotted me a course how I'm gonna get down in there I've been right by it before a jillion times so I'm gonna take old beautiful Brenda and ruthless Ruth and of course I got some hound dogs with me and uh, go see what I can find and you guys are gonna go with me I came up here I've been up here quite a few times before but it's been a long time this is a, a newly designated wilderness area it's about I'm gonna say it probably takes me a little over an hour to get here from my house I got I loaded everything up early this morning I brought Brenda I didn't think I was gonna get along with Brenda but the guy that I got her from said he did she did real good leading a pack a pack string so I thought I'd bring Ruth and takes a little bit of extra stuff and uh, see how she does pulling if she's got company if she's got company that's not a bad deal because I really like to get to a point where I take a mu uh, pack mule with me all the time anyway check out these panniers I got from Mountain Ridge gear they were kind enough to send them to me and uh, I seen them on their website and I thought man I'd like to have a pair of those they're real handy because they have uh, they got these pouches on the on the end here where you can have you can zip them up and you have access to stuff you know right away on both sides I got them on both sides and then they got this they got a, a little pouch inside here sewed in with a zipper you can put whatever you need in there and then they've got this flap that comes up over the top it has this that fastens up locks everything in velcro to tie to help it stay sealed right there and then this flap goes around and it can tie in ties into these so like right there right there but if you have your your pannier fill full and you need to put a like a chair or a folding chair or something underneath there then you can cinch it down tight right there pretty cool I mean I'm gonna try them I usually always pack and I have a top pack which is usually my 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 bedroll I put it on top and then I put a mani tarp on top of that or a canvas tarp and I throw a one-man diamond over everything but I'm gonna try to get in the habit of just carrying these without any kind of hitch on it at all just hook them to the saw bucks on the saddle and just carry them like that we'll see how it works you know I'm not there's not 15 pounds in there right now and the way I found them is years ago I ordered I bought these uh, saddle bags they got little pouches that go on the front of them they got this I carry a, a down coat in just just in case it compacts real tight and I also have I think I got a set of knives in there and then these pommel bags or whatever you want to call them these pouches on both sides and then this little handy dandy pouch here in the front I like it I like it a lot wait okay go ahead oh fat lorry come here fat lorry come here fat lorry you lazy thing yeah. oh my gosh mm. you're getting fatter mm. go on spoiled thing onward and upward here we go now this has been designated wilderness i believe but prior to that there's a little two-track roads going through it buggy roads or jeep roads i guess you call them wait and uh i think they're having a hard time keeping people off of them now it's hard i was listening to uh clay newcomb's podcast about wilderness and i can see where 
it's hard to designate something wilderness after people have already been allowed to come into it and, and change things and drive down the roads and do stuff like that. But first place, there's really nobody out here to enforce if enforce it if somebody drives down through here. Oh, we'll see. Get back. Get back. Pretty soon she gets tired and she starts, she's thinking so much about what's behind her. Her mind's back behind her instead of being out in front where we're going. She's just looking for a way to get out. I don't like that. Anyway, but she's walking out better than she did the other day because I got Ruthless Ruth with us. So that's okay. We're going to go on down this canyon right here. And I might go ahead and take them up to the top of that mountain and then curl back around and hit that canyon, supposedly, where that uh, those petroglyphs are. And I think there's like a camp there where they used to camp there often. So maybe live there. I don't know what they did back then. <laughs> I imagine it was a lot tougher than what we got now. Probably didn't live very long either. Old dirt tanks dry. Oh, here we go. Look at what we found. Are you right? Huh, look at where somebody else added rocks on top of it. Just one one side I don't see any indications that there's anything else but look at that that oh 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 see that that looks like a trail going up through there it's where it washed out but I bet you anything that that was a trail at one time going up on top It's just a wall. Be a good place to camp, probably. If there was water down there, but there's no water in these arroyos now. Maybe that's where they used to fight the, the Indians. I don't know. See, there's a trail going out that other side too. I see it. No telling. Brenda's doing better. She's still thinking about what's behind her all the time. She just has to get used to listening to me. She has no respect for me. Old solar well or solar panel windmill. There's got to be a well around here somewhere. Oh, it's right there.
I'm gonna go right up through there to the top. And then maybe circle back around and then that canyon's back over this way. I don't know if I can find it. Oh, I can find it. Just don't know. I've, I've been through there, I think, before, but I've never seen the petroglyphs. Old set of pins down there. I think there's an old building down there too somewhere. I've cut across through there before. I'm gonna go over this hill, down in the next canyon, and then down, and I think that those petroglyphs are way down there in the bottom of those. Hope I can find them, I'm pretty sure I can. Already about two o'clock, so we probably got another, I don't know. I'm, I'm not, I'm circling around. I wanted to come up to the top of this little mountain here and look around, but now I'm circling back around to, to the bottom. I sure would like to find a place to cook my steak. Ah, we'll see. She likes to get her snacks. Go, Brenda. Let's go this. Don't get too far on that edge. Let's go right down here.
Brenda, there's a cow trail that goes down through here somewhere. I know there is, because I've been down it before. Nice to be able to get these dogs a drink of water. It's kind of getting hot. It's about, it's getting close to 3.30 right now. But I think if I go around this corner and up, that's where those petroglyphs are, I think. Ruth don't mind getting a drink. Brenda can't help but think that we're close to the truck. This is it. It's gotta be it. Now let's see if I can get this mule through here. These mules. It looks, the trail goes up on the side right there. And it looks like this box is in right here. Maybe, uh, we'll see. That's the best way. Got to be in here somewhere. Easy does it, sweetheart.
Oh, right there. Whoa, 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 whoa. There they are. Oh, I found them. I found them. Oh, wow. Look at those. Look at that scorpion thing and the fish. That fish is pretty common to see around these places. Oh, there's an arrow. Look at that. Looks like a man, something, and an arrow pointing up. And a diamond. That's that same thing. I've seen that same thing before somewhere. Where at? Somewhere. Oh man. I'm gonna have to look at these a little closer. Those are pretty cool. That one's pretty tough you now. <laughs> Worked a lot better this time.
Ah. Holy moly. just to give it a little kick. Me and a buddy of mine, we're about to have our own coffee brand. I've contacted lots of these coffee places and they, they don't really want to help me out with sponsorship or anything. So we found a guy who roasts uh, his own coffee beans and he'll make our own blends. So stay tuned, because I am a coffee fanatic. Love my coffee. And I like Starbucks, but I don't like their politics. Woo! Uh, we got about another, I don't know, we got a little bit of daylight left. We'll make it out. I mean, it might be dark the time we get to the truck, but I ain't scared of the dark. I ain't scared of no boogeyman. Man. I reckon my steak will ride. I'm in a hurry, or I'd let the coals burn down, but I'm in a hurry. So I think I better just get them cooking. That's why it's nice to bring in a pack mule. You can bring all the luxuries. Let's have a little smoke. My fixings are a little dry. Might be dry, but that's pretty good tobacco. I don't know how many miles, but it was a long circle. But I, I went out and up and around and came down another canyon to get here instead of cutting straight across because I wanted to get up on top and look at that country again. Ooh, perfect. A little crispy on the outside, but medium on the inside. I'm going to wrap this one up and save it for later.
You okay, Jazz? Old lady? Baby, there's a path. Wow. Onward and upward. In memory of Big Agnes. Thank you, Blondie and Jim Brandvik. Look them up on Instagram. Really, really cool stuff. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drill a hole through this and wear it around my neck. They also sent me the scarf or the wild rag. They sent my wife a scarf, and they, uh, <laughs> and they sent me this fat wood. They seen on my last video. I'll put a link to it right here. I had a hard time getting my little fire started to heat up my steak or cook my steak and uh <laughs> they must have watched it they seen i had a hard time so they sent me all this fat wood i guess you call it fat wood our favorite fire starter fat wood <laughs> thank you guys it worked i got that fire started you seen how fast that was pretty cool thanks guys i'm gonna i'm gonna drill a hole that like that and wear that around my neck always memory of big agnes